Hey, hey, welcome back. Hope everyone's doing well. We're doing something a little bit different tonight, and this is going to reflect on a lot of the uh, shoemakers, shoe care, accessories, and kind of small leather goods, um, shops, retailers, items that I am extremely happy to have picked up and enjoyed throughout the year that I am excited about continuing to uh, work with support just to kind of build that relationship with moving into 2022 let's dive right in and we'll go in no particular order but let's start with what is in my hand here this is carmina shoemaker it should be uh, a brand and a level of quality that everyone is familiar with and has kind of tried out or experienced um, at least once so this is a pair of Horween Chrome XL, CXL leather, uh, just a, a great boot that I think from Carmina around like $400 or whatever it is, it's hard to really beat this value proposition. Like I've really put this boot through the ringer over the last year and couldn't be, you know, happier with how it's, how it's held up. Really excited to continue that relationship with Carmina. And I've got a couple of boots in progress. So let's move on. And if you haven't noticed, the theme of this is all the boots from the shoemakers that we're going to talk about, but you know, this expands beyond boots from them. We're just looking at boots because that's what season it is. So the next one is St. Crispin's. St. Crispin's is a brand almost fully handmade. They do a machine stitch outsole, but it's a brand I've highlighted on the channel a few times. So I'll link those videos in the description and in the upper corner here. So you can check those out. The majority of my collection from them is through uh, made to order and some pairs that I was able to pick up through like style form and other channels like that. And the fit and the quality, you know, if you're able to get it in that range, it's really a great you know, opportunity, a great shoemaker to try out. I really do enjoy these two particular pairs from them and all the other pairs that I have from them, but extremely happy with these. Wear these boots very often during the fall and winter months, sometimes even the summer months. You know, brand that I am very, very high on so we're gonna take a quick interlude from the shoemakers, focus on the leather care, shoe care, and should be no surprise what this is, it's pure polish products, my preferred leather care. And the only reason I say that is because I find that it is, you know, the best for the leather, um, for shell, calfskin, whatever they make a product for, I've tried it and it performs better than the competitors you know, counterpart. Extremely, extremely excited with the relationship that I've built with Andy over the years from Pure Polish. Couldn't recommend them more. Couldn't speak more highly of what Andy does and how he goes about doing it. And I will say that same exact sentiment for these guys. Ashlyn Leather out of Chicago, um, Matt and Phil, as well as Dan, they just have a great passion for leather and trying to share that knowledge and that experience of of how to age and really buy a piece of quality leather goods and have it for life i have many pieces from them so i again couldn't recommend them more and they're great guys to work with if you want to do something custom moving into uh, mason and smith if you've noticed a lot of the shoelaces you see on the boots here as well as in any of the pairs that i wear look something like this and that is because they are custom shoelaces you can pick the color material whether it's flat wax you know unwaxed round braided you name it you can have it the length and mason and smith will make it for you i think they're around like 15 dollars a pair but they're the best shoelaces i've tried also from mason and smith uh, my soji works brushes obviously with shell brushing is a huge huge deal i really enjoy having quality shoe brushes again like soji works you know maybe a little more expensive than your your normal shoe brush it's for the quality and the materials that you're getting here kind of seems like it should be effortless to begin with but if you feel like it's a pain try these and the last before we jump back into the shoes here is the ebony stick from brift h out of japan this is used similar to a deer bone and i'll link some of the videos that i've used this in um, in the description and above but ultimately this is a lifesaver for me i think it works immensely better than a deer bone or a sleeking stick or a sleeking bone this is the stick and it just 
whatever you need it for as far as smoothing something out fixing a scuff a scratch this is your guy so as you can see here we've got two makers left i'm going to start with acme because it's been almost a full year since i got my first pair from them well probably a little a little more than a year and i couldn't be i couldn't be more excited to to work with acme i think they are a very very high quality respectable shoemaker that does a fully handmade bespoke quality shoe do it at a very reasonable price for what you are getting talk about the techniques that they use quality the materials and just the overall product that they produce here price is extremely reasonable for it this is a pair of chelsea boots that are one of my favorite pairs to wear even though I, this wasn't an mto you know it's just so comfortable the fit the last shapes and just the support that's kind of built in here um yeah i mean i enjoy wearing every every pair that i have from them these as well they just do very very nice work um they do a lot of work with shell which is very you know it's very important for me because a lot of shoemakers high end at this you know point will work with shell but it's not a you know a regular thing whereas acme is very uh very open to it and and i think is very kind of forthcoming with doing it so i really enjoy that because that's my favorite material have really enjoyed all the pairs that i have from them so far i just got a new one i'll share soon but overall really excited to see what's to come in 2022 from them as we round it out we'll save that one but Antonio Mecariello. This is the first pair that I got from Mecariello shoes. It was a pair through Yosel. While this sizing was a bit off, I've been able to stretch it since, but this is what kind of started the love affair with Mecariello. Well, not the love affair with, with him, but with his shoes. I do, I do, uh, you know, very much like Antonio, but I'm not going to say I love him. I'll save that for another video. Now that we got that out of the way, this has really been a pair that I've grown to love the more that I've gotten a fit to work and uh, has kind of taken this full circle to uh, this monster, which is the Proteo Boot uh, 360 degrees uh, Norwegian construction, the Triolis Norwegian. And uh, man, this boot, and this could be one of my favorite pairs that I've ever had from Antonio. That's really what I love about building that relationship with any particular shoemaker is they begin to understand what it is that you like and know what you like sometimes even before you do super excited for every every opportunity i have to work with him that's what's on my radar let me know what's on yours thanks for watching and we'll see you next time